Hello, my friends in YouTube land. I picked this up for 150 bucks today. I was looking for a new chassis because I just finished this monster mower. This one's my eighth one. I've built eight monster mowers with a legit welded in uh, subframe suspension and everything like that. I designed and custom built the suspension lift myself. Um, got a couple ideas from different people, but this is all custom. It's all my work. Um, I give away a few tips and stuff like that on my Facebook page, so go ahead and check it out, Crushing Customs. So basically I finished this up, and uh, this is a pretty nice monster mower. I'm going to put the uh, plow, just like an ATV setup, with two mounts in the back on your basket. Right there you can see my basket that I have welded in, um, and then your control arm going out to the front with your two sub-control arms. And on the basket, I'm going to use it just like a, an ATV does with the rear winch and stuff like that. Or, I'm sorry, with the winch in the front, I have a snatch block for it. It's not hooked up right now, but I had to go through and completely rewire this. Basically, this is a Bob Vila DYT 4000. And this one's just a basic DYT 4000. Now, the reason why I don't like this chassis very much is because it is a side shift. I don't like side shift, and I don't like hydrostatic transaxles. Hydrostatic transaxles never hold up, and the gas tank under the seat is another thing that I don't like. But I'm going to build it, and I'm going to build it like my other one. I'll show you in a second. But I've got to rebuild this thing completely. I've got to tear it right down to its bare chassis, and I've got to go through and rebuild it. Now, you wouldn't believe, you know, um, a lot of the benefits that that um, welding in a subframe and stuff gives you. Tons of benefits. So what I do is on these things, I've off, been off-roading for quite some time. On these uh, mowers and stuff like that, I usually move the transaxle back by about two inches or three inches. Um, and I leave stock pulley and stuff like that as well. They go, do go a little bit faster than stock because of the stock pulley and the, the bigger tires, but not very much. Um, so, one of the things that I'd like to uh, tell you guys is this back here, this back transaxle sits too far forward, and when you try to go over any obstacles, your front end likes to pick right up. Um, that's one of the dangers in lifting them and stuff like that. If you lift it, move your transaxle back. That's one of the things that I developed. And again, this will be my ninth one, so I've been doing it for quite some time. Um, Again, it's going to have to be stripped completely down. I'm going to auction off and get rid of the mower deck. Um, just some pieces and parts and stuff like that. This is my legit off-roader. Um, this one is built. This one is built very well, too. It's got a Peerless 820 in the back. So you can see, 27-inch tires. Um, this thing flexes. I mean, it flexes huge. See, I've got coilovers in the front, got the gas tank up front too, 17.5 horsepower. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I like to lift them is because, you know, basically it keeps all your vitals out of the water. You're not having to worry about belt slippage as much. You're not having to worry about taking water into your air intake and stuff like that. Even though I have tons of videos, or I'm sorry, I have off-roaded this quite a bit. I don't have that many videos because I don't have somebody to off-road with to take videos when I'm off-roading. This thing doesn't go very fast. It doesn't do 100 miles an hour. It crawls. I like it, I like it when they crawl. Um, and this thing is built very heavy duty. Now, I don't do my YouTube channel for anybody's benefit except yours. So, uh... I did take down all my videos because I, I like my privacy, but here's the plow setup that I'm going to be getting rid of with the tire chains and wheel weights as well. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting started. I'd like to document a little bit more of how I'm progressing through this next ninth mower build. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching.